Lane one, New Zealand's 22-year-old Emma Twig, winner of this year's Princess Royal Challenge Cup at Henley Raw Regatta. Catherine Granger, a brilliant silver. Oh, and Nakoba only just hangs on for bronze ahead of Emma Twig. The former junior and under-23 world champion single sculler, now seemingly back to something close to her best, having been laid low in the middle of the season by a mysterious virus. If we see Emma Twig, she's not worried about uh, bigger reputations. I think her days to come, uh, maybe a bronze medal, the best she can hope for, and that'll be a fantastic result after a difficult season. Emma Twig senses that she can get into that bronze medal position there, has a little look around, picks up Nat Cobra, Nat Cobra in trouble, Nat Cobra's head bobbing around, uncertain, and Twig now burning on the check now. The amazing feel for the singles. And uh, now Svensson leading Emma Twig now, she said, one day, someone is going to topple Carsten, and now, look at this twig coming on. Powder dry until now. Turn it to New Zealand, challenging Sweden. What a finish here. And look at this in the women's single skulls. Svensson has done it. Carsten takes silver. Twig, a brilliant bronze. What a fantastic race. What a feast of finals. To Emma Twig. Last year's bronze medalist representing New Zealand. Well, Emma Twig, she really took it out to them in Lucerne. She likes to go out quickly. In fact, a number of these women do like to take the race to the opposition, David. I think her confidence has grown, certainly as you mentioned that bronze medal last year. And when she raced in Lucerne, you saw the confidence in her ability to attack the race through the middle thousand. Mirka Natkova wins the women's single skulls. Carsten is second. Emma Twig is third for the second successive year. You have to say, well, maybe the bravest person in the race was this lady, Emma Twig. World bronze medalist for the past two seasons. Away we go in the final of the women's singles, the 40th and final gold medal examination. Emma Twig's gone out with her. She was fourth in the uh, single skull at the Lucerne World Cup. She won at the Eton World Cup, and she's been in and out of the medals over the last few years, rowing this uh, event for a long time now. Very experienced, and she's clearly uh, in second place. It's so smooth, so fluid, so connected to the boat, and so sympathetic with it. And we knew she had this in her. We've said it in the earlier races. You never want to come into the last 250 or the last 500 up against a Kiwi. And this is what Kimmy would have known was coming. This epic sprint from Emma, who's now a length up on the Olympic champion. Emma Twig, she chose to work with the group of Noel Donaldson that came to Britain uh, this year rather than stay with Dick Toms. And it's paid off for her because this will be a silver medal. Absolutely phenomenal last couple hundred metres there from Emma Twig. We knew she had a strong finish, and goodness me, she's shown it. But crossing the line for the gold, Kim Crow of Australia, silver with Emma Twig of New Zealand.